Hey y'all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And I'm very excited about today's video because I get to debut another radio from our friends over there at FR Sky. Now this is another radio that Banana Hobby will go ahead and carry on their line. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this bad boy. What we have right here is we have the FR Sky X14S. Now let me tell you something about this radio, y'all. I put my hands on this radio a few months ago and ever since I did I wanted to get my own and I finally did and it's right here. Now many of you know that I switched my flagship radio from Spectrum iX12 to the FreeSky X20S and that's going to remain my flagship radio. Now why do I want a second radio? Well for me I like a radio that goes on the go. Uh, I do FPV, I do gliders, I do belly uh, to uh, tossers. And I don't want to lug the X20S to all those things. I want another radio that's more simple, doesn't have the touch screen, less things to get broken, but still proven. So what do y'all say? You want to find out more about it? Here we go. All right, y'all. We got the eye in the sky, and we got our FR Sky Twin X14S right here in the box. Like I was saying before, they do have two models, the X14 and the X14S. We'll go a little bit over the differences in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Now they do have three different colors to choose from. White, black, and a green. I chose the white one. I like to be a rebel. We got stickers. It looks like we got a radio right there. Let's go ahead and get this out. There we go. We have our QR codes for our manuals. And there's the radio. Like I said, we got the white. Let's go ahead and take this off. So there's the radio, easy packaging. Now let's release this beast from its package. There's our radio. And it looks like it comes with a nice neck lanyard. All right, everybody, so when you see when you get your radio, make sure the battery is connected. Let's go ahead and remove that sticker. And let's flip the radio over. Open up the battery. And there is our 7.2 volt 2600 mAh lithium ion battery. Here is the cord. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug it right here into that port. They do this for shipping purposes. Sometimes it's a little hard to get a hold of. What you're going to do is you're going to line up those two grooves right there. Plug her in until you hear it snap. And we're going to put the cover back on. All right, everybody. Now that we unleashed our FreeSky X14S, before we start showing you everything on this radio, we're going to take it and we're going to get it nice and charged up. All right, we have just a standard USB-C uh, charger plug and I got it hooked up to a one amp brick. Right underneath the radio, you lift up your little waterproof guard and there's your USB-C charging port, also with your SD card and a programming cable card slot. Plug her in. We got the green light that it's on. When the light is off, it's charged. Okay, everybody. While that's charging, let's go over the radio a little bit. It's available in three colors, like I was saying earlier. White, black, and green. I chose this white because it looks very, very sharp, and you don't see too many white radios no more. And here you go, the specs and features. And what basically what we're doing is we're comparing the X14 and the X14S. Now what you're going to see, what I'm showing you guys today, is the X14S. I chose the X14S and paying the extra $100. Uh, you get more flash memory, and basically you get better gimbals, y'all. I'm going to be using this radio a lot, so that was just my personal choice. There's nothing wrong with the X14, but this is the reason why I chose the X14S. So as you can see, it comes with the same bells and whistles. The only main differences between the radio is the internal flash storage memory. On the X14, you get 128 megabytes, and the X14S, you get the 512. 
Also on the X14, you do not get this built-in six axis gyroscope sensor that comes on the X14S. And the other difference is on the X14, you get the high precision hall gimbals. And on the X14S, you're getting the high precision hall gimbals with the 10 ball bearings. Now this radio is perfect for somebody that's getting into the hobby up to the most seasoned pilot. It's got all the features that the other radios on the higher line like the X18 and the X20S, but they don't skimp out on the software. Unlike competitors that have multi-tiered radios, you get what you pay for. You only pay so much, you get a monochrome screen. You pay a little more, you get a colored screen. You pay a little more, you get a different Android operating system. With free Sky Radios, one thing that I love between the X14, the X18, the X20, it's the same operating system regardless if you get a touch screen or not. Now enough chit chatting about this radio, let's actually go get hands on. Hey y'all, we're back. We got the X14S and she's all charged up. So let's go over some features on her since we already got her in her hands. She's got an ergonomic design. She fits in the hand very well. She's not too heavy. She's not too light. One other thing I like about this radio, on the X20S, the sticks are a little far apart than what people are accustomed to, and that was one of the uh, complaints or gripes people had. I can't get used to how far the sticks are apart. Well, this radio, my friends, the sticks aren't that far apart. These sticks right here are just one quarter inch wider than your average radio out there, like your Spectrum DX8 or your NX8, NX10. They are uh, almost a half inch thinner, uh, closer together than the X20S. If I try and line up the sticks, you can see it is thinner. So that right there um, is a plus on this radio for people who want to switch, uh, that want the same feel on this thing. You have easy to reach top switches and sliders. Your sliders are right here. You got one on this side and you got one on that side. You got a total of six switches right here on the top. Let's go through them. You have a momentary switch on the left top side and a two position on the right side. This is good right here if you're going to be flying DLGs uh, and you want the switch right here on the right side when you throw it up. Now, if you don't like the way that these switches are, you can go ahead and reverse them out so your two position is on this side and your momentary is on this side. You have a three position switch there, a three position switch there, a three position switch there, and another three position switch there. You also have these two pots that you can program for flaps, um, air brakes, or volume control for your radio. And you also have these trim buttons, everybody. Now, another thing on the X20S people didn't like was where the trim buttons are in correspondence to where the sticks are for muscle memory purposes where they're more used to it being in line. X14S, the trim buttons are where people say that they should be and you can go ahead and trim just without even looking at it. You know where the buttons are going to be at. That's a great thing on this and a great improvement on this radio for people that want to transition into a new radio. Or even the first radio. For the price of what you get on the X14 for roughly $180, you can't beat it. And for $280, this is very comparable to other uh, radios on the market, such as the Radio Master Max and stuff. But you are getting the Free Sky um, parts, you're getting the service, you're getting the support, and most importantly, you're getting the ethos, which we'll get to in the, later on in the video. The X14S is known as the twin uh, model because it comes with a 2.4 gigahertz dual internal RF module, and that's where it really shines, and we'll get to that more later on in the video. It also comes with a 2.95 inch color TFT screen with great resolution. It also comes with these four buttons right here. And these are also buttons that you could program as extra tri uh, trims or quick mode uh, buttons. The comes with two momentary buttons right here in the rear. Internal flash storage memory. This model right here comes with the 512 megabytes. The X14 comes with 128 megabytes. On the back right here, it comes with a light type module bay which is great if you want to run the i range x uh, external module which we'll see later on in future videos if you want to run other protocol receivers the x14s also comes with the built-in six six gyroscope now i have heard i haven't seen it or you can possibly program this thing where you can control the airplane this way but what i have seen at my airfield is 
This also has hepatic vibration in it as well. And with that gyro, is you can set alerts on this thing. So let's say you have a glider. You can set out an elevation call out or an attitude call out just by shaking the radio instead of trying to find a switch, which is really, really cool on this thing. It supports a recharge system right here on the bottom as you saw earlier in the video for a lithium ion 2S battery. High speed parrot wireless training system on this so you can't do this as a trainer wirelessly, which is really awesome. And also on this model, dual MC18 Hall gimbals with 10 ball bearings. And there's also an optional kickstand that you would pop out these two back areas that you can lean it up in case you want to have it that way when you're working. All the bells and whistles on this radio, guys, for $280, you can't complain. And also, lastly, on the radio, right here on this side. This right here is your toggle wheel when you're making your selections. And this is your enter button right here. You also have your display, return, model, and system. Now, this does not have a touchscreen, but it has the full functionality for Ethos. So let's get this thing turned on and give you guys a demonstration of it. Okay, we got our X14S right here. Let's power her on. Welcome to Ethos. Failsafe not set. Hit OK to get rid of the failsafe. Okay, and as you can see there, we have our screen. And you can see it's Ethos, just like you would see on the higher end radios, like the X20S comes with everything that you need in this mighty package radio feels really really good now these sticks right here I will tell you that they are stiffer than the X20S so if you're used to like a spectrum radio you're really gonna like these right here you can lighten them up and we'll do that in later videos the throttle does come with ratcheting throttle but you can remove that and again we will go through that in later videos as well. We got it zoomed in here. It's on the test model that comes with the radio. And I'm not going to go too in depth on how to make a model on this in this video. We're going to save that for future videos because we've got a lot of things to go over on this radio. And add-ons like, like the iRange X that uses a multi-protocol that just opens up the world of using your old receivers. So just because you're getting a new radio doesn't mean you have to ditch your old receivers. But one thing I want to talk about is the twin protocol on this radio and what sets this radio apart. Now the screen might look a little fuzzy. It's a little bit because of the lighting and it doesn't come through on a camera. And I also have the screen protector on this thing still. And to show you that, we're going to hit model we're going to scroll over to RF system, hit enter. We want to go to our internal module. It is off because we haven't bound this to a receiver or anything. But right here where it says state twin mode. It has all three access, ACC, STD16 and twin mode. So you can use this on your uh, older version of FR Sky receivers, plus with the Axis receivers, just like the ones you've been seeing on the channel, like the Archer SR8+, Plus, the Archer R6, the Archer SR812s, the Archer SR18s. The only thing that this radio will not do is the Tandem series, the 900 megahertz TD series receivers. That is exclusive to the Tandem transmitters but on the twin series you have that and that selects right here for your redundancy and let's go over that now for that twin module let's go ahead and power this radio down and we'll get into it so this radio like we were discussing earlier not only could it use the axis and the older receiver protocol it also uses a twin protocol and how does that differ from the tandem receiver right here that works with that radio well, on this radio, it uses a primary 2.4 gigahertz signal and a backup of 900 megahertz. So for any reason you lose that 2.4, the 900 kicks in, you're bringing the home safely. This receiver uses exclusive receivers to it as well. There's things on there like the TW, which means twin. Uh, the TWGR8 meant for gliders, the TWR6. There's a TWSR8. 
So there's uh, just like the Archer SRE Plus with stabilization, there is a twin model of this. And what that does is on the receivers, there's two antennas. This radio sends two dual 2.4 gigahertz band signals out to these receivers simultaneously. It's not, it uses one and then a backup on the other. It uses it on both antennas. That way it covers the spectrum completely and greatly reduces the event of you losing signal if you ever are going to lose signal with the system. Just like on that. That one's proven. And what does that mean? Well, if you fly FPV or anything like that, ultra low latency on this radio. This radio right here, this is a great, great radio. If you have uh, a radio of a certain brand that you seem to have a bad area at the field and you seem to be crashing. Now that's pretty much the tech specs that we're gonna get into this radio and the overall features. There's gonna be more follow-up videos on this radio on how to set up model, bind the receivers, set up stabilization with the twin receivers, the external light module, uh, the Lewis scripts and all that fun things. But now let's talk about who this radio is for. Now earlier in the video I said that this could be for the beginner or the most seasoned pilot. Now if you know Ethos and the people who use it, it's for the seasoned pilot and also for the beginner as well. Why do I say that? Price point everybody. $280 for programming up to 24 channels on this 14 channel radio. That doesn't mean because it's a 14 channel you can only program 14 channels. No, you can program up to 24 channels on this bad boy right here. The price of this one right here is $280. Now from Banana Hobby shipped to the door, $280. The X14 is $180. Now I'm not gonna be calling out a certain brand out there, but I'm gonna be calling out a brand that's most popular and is the most comparable to this thing. Now, it's not going to be apples to apples, so I'm not going to really, really ding the other radio or ding this one. This is a 14-channel radio, and obviously I'm not going to compare this radio to an uh, Spectrum iX14 because it does not have a touchpad, and that wouldn't be fair. So the next comparable thing I could uh, compare this thing to would be like a Spectrum NX10 or a Spectrum NX8. Now, an NX10 is about $550, if I remember about right, and an NX8 is $400. So, even on an NX8, an 8-channel radio, uh, it's got a colorish screen, right, um, for $400, and then your receivers are costing you $120, okay? You can get this radio for $280, get more channels, more functions, more features, put $180, $20 in your pocket, and the receivers cost you half as much. It's a no-brainer on this radio if you're coming into the hobby. Also, this hobby, it's awesome across the board. You can use this for a helicopter. It's just as easy to use for that as it is for a plane. You can use this for a quadcopter, a glider. I've seen people use these right here for the RC submarines and RC cars and custom things that they're always doing with this radio. You're not just locked into one thing. Well, y'all, that's going to do for this brief introduction on this radio right here into the Noons Airborne RC hangar. Now, if I missed out on anything and you want some more information, I'm going to leave the link down in the description to the Banana Hobby website where we have more information on these radios. And if you have anything else, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. I read those within about 24 hours and I'll get back to you. Well, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Take care. Noons out.